a young person getting ready to enter the real world. You know, they're out of school, high school or college, whatever they finish. They're ready to actually enter the real world and just make it a real world. What are some pieces of advice that you have for them? My son is going through that right now. So my son got out of high school last year and he's done with his first semester and he's going through it. And so I'll tell, I'll tell you exactly what I've been telling him. Hustle, 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 hustle. Right now, you are living at home. You don't have the bills. You don't have a family. You don't have all these things that are going to be taking your time and your money. Whatever your goal is, whatever your vision is of the future, sit down and start start nibbling at it. My son wants to be a music producer and he wants to be a DJ. I'm always encouraging him. What have you done in the past week, month, you know, quarter to get yourself where you want to be? I even have him visualize it. Okay, so let's say in two years, he's going to a community college here in Houston. After you're done, imagine the day after you get your certificate and you're like, I got my AA, I got my certificate. Yay. What's the next day look like? What does the next awesome day look like? Where you're just like, my dream is coming to, to fruition. What does it look like? And he's like, I, I'd be going and doing this or I'd be going and doing that. And I'm like, okay, great. You have the vision. Now you have a year and a half to like try to make it happen. Maybe a lot of kids, you know, they get out of high school and they're I'm going to, I'm going to start working. I'm going to start making money. It's going to be awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Like they're, maybe they just get sucked into the wrong job. And guess what? Now you get promotions, you get more bills, you get a family and all of a sudden guess what? Now you're, you might get stuck where you were. You know, when I got out of high school, I wasn't looking to get into the apartment industry. I wasn't, I wasn't like, I'm going to go paint apartments and be a maintenance supervisor. I was flexible and I took the opportunities that came to me and it helped me in the end. And, but I also like made, the best of it and said, all right, you know what? I got a couple of years in this industry. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's see where else we can take this. And that's the thing I'm trying to teach my kid. Have a goal, work towards the goal, have some flexibility along the way. Once you're kind of nailed it down and you're in, you're, you're in a, in a rut and you're in that groove, figure out a way to be the best at it and figure out a way to just bring and deliver on excellence every single day and it'll pay off.